Hi, this video is to show you how to perform inventory linking inside Giant. After you have added your sales channel, the products from your marketplaces will be pulled back into Site Giant and they will be showing under Products Sales Channel Listing. When you click into Shopee Listing, you will be seeing all the Shopee products under Listed Products. At the same time, they are also showing under No Inventory Linking, which means the products have no linking between the integrated channel and Site Giant. Inventory linking is used to link the products from the integrated channels to the inventory items in Site Giant so that you are able to control the inventory levels between multiple channels through Site Giant. If you want to hold your channels from receiving stock updates from Site Giant while working on inventory linking, kindly go into settings, select the sales channels, authorize channels, click on the gearbox icon and disable update stock button. By doing this, the inventory level from Site Giant will not be updated to the particular channel. Besides that, we recommend updating and standardizing SKUs across all your marketplaces first to ease the inventory linking process later. Now, let me show you how to perform inventory linking in Site Giant. Firstly, go into Inventory and click on Inventory Linking. The system will request to set your default inventory linking for the first time. Among all of the integrated sales channels, you will need to choose the store that has the most products with the complete product info, which will be the product benchmark inside Giant. Once you have selected the main store, click Save. Please be patient while the system is syncing your product data from the main store. The more products you have, the longer the time it takes for the sync to complete. Once it is done, go back to Inventory Linking. Firstly, select the main store that you have chosen earlier. I will show you how to link the products from other stores after we complete the inventory linking with the main store. The channel listing on the left will show you all the products that you have in Marketplace. The draft listing on the right shows you the inventory item that the system will create and link for you with the draft linking status. If you've been selling combo or bundle products, please remove the linking first by clicking on the reset button, as the bundle products will need to be linked separately by using kits. If you have products that are listed multiple times within one store, also known as multi-listing, you will only need one inventory item created for it to share the same inventory. Hence, please reset the linking for the multi-listing products, search and relink to the main ISKU, then click on Confirm and Bulk Confirm button to have the draft linking status. If you do not have any SKU from your marketplace, do not worry, the system will auto-generate the ISKU for you. And if you don't want to link the product for now, you can also click on the reset button to remove the linking momentarily, but remember to link it back when you are ready in the future. After you have checked through all the listings, click on the review draft listing button on the top right corner. Here is a list of products that will be linked or unlinked inside Giant. If everything is correct, then click on confirm and save listing. When you reach this point, the inventory linking for your main store should be completed. Well done! Now, let's proceed to link the second and the remaining stores. Select the second store, the inventory items will be auto-populated based on the matched SKU. All you need to do is to click on the confirm button on the variant level or bug confirm on the parent level. You can also make the system to display up to 50 products per page. And click bug confirm on the top right page by page to update the products to draft linking status. For the products that have been confirmed, you can proceed to review draft listing, then confirm and save listing first in stages. After that, go back into inventory linking, select the second store again, click on the pending action listing tab to continue. If the same product has a different SKU in the second store than the main store, you will then need to link it to the correct ISKU. Click Confirm to make it to Draft Linking. If there are products that are not existing in the main store but is available in this store, you can just click Insert or Bulk Insert button. The system will auto-generate the inventory item for you. Again, if there are bundle products or multi-listing products in this store, please repeat the same steps shown earlier for the main store. Lastly, click Review Draft Listing, then Confirm and Save Listing when you are done. Repeat the same process to all your other stores until it's completed. After you have done inventory linking, go back into your product listing. You can see the number of no inventory linking is decreasing and eventually reach zero. 
This means all the products from the integrated channels are now successfully linked with the inventory items in SiteGiant. When you are ready for the channels to receive the latest stock update from SiteGiant, you can then go to Sales Channel Settings to enable Update Stock button again. Then the latest inventory level will be updated to the particular channels. I would like to take this opportunity to explain the differences between the product listings and inventory items. Product listings are all the products listed in the integrated channels. You can update channel product inside Giant by simply clicking into the product, update product details, click on the update button and it will sync and reflect the latest product details to the channel. Whereas, go to inventory, all inventory items. These are all the inventory items used to manage the inventory of the associated products across all the integrated channels. If you click on the total listings from here, you will be directed to the associated products page where you can see which products and channels are linked to this item. It's normal to see the total number of items are more than the product listings in Marketplace. This is because the product with variants will be created as individual items or ISKUs. But you can set parent ISKU for the same group of items or variants to keep your items more organized and able to filter related products for further actions in the future. Hope this gives you better ideas to do inventory linking with the marketplace products and manage your inventory items inside Giant. Thank you for watching the video.